Hey, what's up guys? Tech Ninja 81. Uh, just left the group ride. Uh, was out with Pakua and a couple other, uh, couple other riders. Uh, most of them aren't really vloggers. A couple of them might get into it. Uh, it's starting to rain as you can see here, so I uh, decided, well, enough is enough. Time to head home. Don't really want to push it too much considering the roads haven't been all that great today. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a, a topic that, uh, well, it's a bit of a, I don't want to really call it a life changer, but uh, it definitely is a significant uh, event that occurred. So, chances are if you live anywhere in the GTA, or really anywhere in Canada, you've probably heard about a pretty large player in the retail industry that uh, essentially just went under, or um, more appropriately, is being merged. Uh, if you haven't guessed already, I'm talking about Future Shop. Why am I talking about Future Shop? Well, as I've mentioned in a few of my videos, I've worked retail for a good portion of my life. And that is where I had been working for the past half year. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised some of you guys probably worked there as well, or may have in the past. But essentially, what happened was um, we have our quarterly meetings. They're usually on a Sunday morning, you know, 8, 9 o'clock, something like that. Uh, this time, though, they scheduled our meeting for a Saturday. It had been a Sunday, and then they said, no, you know what, we have to do it on a Saturday instead. A couple of us were thinking, that's a little strange. They've never done a quarterly meeting on a Saturday in uh, all the history of the company that some of the guys were saying, at least anyways. So we were a little concerned, thinking, okay, this seems like there might be something big going on. Um... Some of us thought maybe it was going to be a change to the pay structure, maybe there was, I don't know, management change or something like that that was going on. And you know what, a couple of us actually did think, you know what, there have been store closures, maybe they're going to be closing more stores. Well, obviously that was our closest guess. What none of us expected though, was to walk in and be told, hey guys, you know, it's, it's been a, an honor working with all of you, but uh, unfortunately we have some pretty bad news. The Future Shop brand is closing. Best Buy would be absorbing and merging some of the Future Shop stores into its company. The rest of them, mine being one of them, would be closing permanently. What a bloody shocker. None of us, none of us were prepared for that. I felt so bad, man. My GM, he was up there in front of us all and you could tell, like, they obviously had to have told them something probably in at least a little bit of notice, but the poor guy, man, he looked like he was about to burst into tears. And, and I mean, who can blame him? He's, he's telling his whole team, his family, essentially, hey, sorry guys, but we're, we don't exist anymore. How do you deal with something like that? And the thing is, like I said, this is Future Shop. This isn't some little mom and pop shop. This is a major, major chain that's been around for decades. But the truth of the matter is, if you guys haven't noticed, a lot of Future Shop stores actually have Best Buy stores very close to them. Some of them literally across the street or in the same shopping plaza. In my case, my store had one right across the street. So realistically, there just wasn't really much point keeping both of the franchises or, or the, both of the companies around when... Uh, they're, you know, they're, everybody pretty much knows they're the same company. Best Buy came into Canada, I think, around 2001 or so, and at that time, they took ownership of Future Shop. It had been said back then that within a matter of months to a couple of years, it was ex expected that Future Shop would cease to exist. So, Jesus Christ. So, realistically, they probably did us all a favor by keeping us around for 14 extra years, longer than they were really expected to. I guess, you know, it was inevitable. It was going to happen sooner or later. And I got to say, compared to when I started retail 15 years ago, the industry is not what it used to be anymore. I mean, you know, obviously 15 years ago, the internet was not such a big thing. Not everybody was advertising and selling online. You couldn't just, you know, click and order from your, uh, from, from the comfort of your own home. You still had to, you know, at some point come into the stores and deal with a live human being and actually see your products. 
Well, you know what? I'm old school that way. I prefer to go to a store. I prefer physically shopping. And frankly, if I'm going to go to a company, I want service. Uh, and you don't really get that from online. Yeah, okay, it's convenient if you know exactly what you want and maybe it's going to be a bit cheaper. But if you're making a major purchase, it's nice to actually know that there's a human being that's going to be there to help you. And that maybe if you need a little bit more advice, there's somebody that can kind of point you in the right direction. You don't get that when you shop online. Yeah, okay, you can go to the forums, you can check the review sites. You know, there are certain avenues that you can take. But it doesn't compare to the retail experience. It doesn't compare to face-to-face to -face service. And it is sad that we are slowly losing that. It is sad that people now choose to just use whatever online resource they can and, and actually avoid the human contact that we used to be so proud of. And, I mean, it's sad. Look at, uh, look at some of the big companies. Uh, like I said, Future Shop is gone. Uh, Target Canada went under a couple months ago. Um, now, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Tiger Direct, another big, uh, more for you know computers and electronics, but another big retailer. They're going online only. They're shutting down their stores. I think both Canada and US. I know at least Canada, but yeah, they're just going to have an online presence from now. Future Shop doesn't even have that much. They're they, they've been absorbed by Best Buy. If you go to the Future Shop website, if you open up the app. It just redirects you to the Best Buy app or the Best Buy website. So this is, to me, this is the, the, the uh, what, what would you call it? I mean, this is basically this, the sign that retail as a whole is a dying business. It's a dying industry. And you know what? It scares the hell out of me. It's all I've done for 15 years. Yeah, okay, I do computer repairs and stuff like that as well. I'm into technology. There are alternatives for me. But my comfort zone has been customer service, retail. I've been that guy that stands at a counter and helps somebody else, you know, hopefully has them leave with a smile on their face and gets whatever it is that they're looking for and then some. But now I'm thinking, hey, you know, here I am. I'm unemployed again for the second time in as many years because of upper management changes or something big changing in the company. And, you know, it was no... No choice of my own to be left uh, to, to be left without a job, and I don't know where I'm going to go from here. I, I, I'm thinking, in terms of retail chains, there, there's just nowhere that's really safe anymore. Even uh, I think it's Home Depot here in Canada. They're going to be uh, like downsizing some, uh, significantly. Things like appliances and stuff won't be sold in the stores anymore. They're going to be just online. I mean, come on, man! It's appliances. This is something that you want to see in person. How easy is it for you to buy a fridge or a stove without having any idea what it really looks like in person? I don't understand how, how it's gotten to this point. And, I mean, anybody that's worked with me knows I am a customer service driven person. I believe that everybody, that one of the most important things in any company, whether it's retail, a restaurant, whatever it is, is customer service. I pride myself on being that professional, friendly, reliable uh, uh, associate that is there to help. Uh, you know, if I'm going to stick with the tech industry, I guess there's things like the Microsoft Store or the Apple Store or uh, places like that. But other than that, I really don't know where I would go from here. Uh, I would say Staples, but I, I know they're not doing well. Uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's just, it's a scary position to be in. I may be looking at changing my entire, my entire career. Hey, maybe that's a good thing. I mean, retail is not exactly, it's not always the most fun thing to be in, really. And like I said, it has been 15 years, but it's all I've ever done. I mean, what do you do when you're, when you're in that situation? How do you make a decision that, hey, you know what, it's time to, it's time to get out of this industry and it's time to do something totally different? It's scary, man, I gotta say. But how about you guys, man? Any, were any of you in the same situation as me? I'm sure there must be some of my viewers out there probably that, uh, that were Future Shop employees. Well, guys, if, uh, if so, I hope you're all doing well. I, I mean, uh, you know, hopefully th there's a bright future for you and you've got some plans. Um, as usual, guys, please, if you like the video, click that like button. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed and you like my videos, please, it'll help me out a lot as well if you want to subscribe. Uh, but leave me a comment, send me a message. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, happy 2015. Maybe not the best start of it, uh, well, it's not the start, but, you know, 
hasn't been the best so far for me, but uh, things can only go up, right? All right, guys, that's it for now. Ride safe, ride smart. Peace.